Mm -hmm. And they're gonna go around and tell you their first names. Okay. Okay, Jay Chong, why don't you start? <laughs> We have one other special guest in the room. It's Mrs. Ku, who is the museum docent at the Taejan Municipal Museum of Art. And she's here with us today as well. We're just so happy that you're here. And maybe if you um, want, we could um, start by reading some of the notes from the critical response. Would that be all right? Yes, please. OK. Could you read through the questions that it raised for you all? Oh. Nice and loud if you can. What is this? What is the topic? What materials? How old is the artist? <laughs> What's the line for? Why the yellow? Why the big dark circle? Why so gloomy? Why, why the drips? Why is it like burning? What was the process? Did she begin with a sketch, and how long did it take to paint? The students tried to guess at what maybe you were hoping that they would understand. So, um, Josh, why don't you share those speculations with Ms. Bogash? Maybe the artist wanted to show messiness. Maybe the artist wanted us to understand the ability. I think the artist wanted us to know something about how Maybe the artist wanted us to understand boldness, and maybe the artist wanted us to think about the holes in our lives and how to feel the light in our lives. You don't have to answer all of their questions, but if there's mm -hmm. a question that stands out to you that you feel led to answer, or that interests mm -hmm. you, you could speak to that. You get to choose okay. what you respond to. Maybe I'll just tell you a little story. When I was a kid, I could hardly fall asleep when I was lying in bed and I was thinking of the emptiness and the universe. And um, when I was older or grown up, I discovered um, a philosopher from the 17th century and he wrote some, some small poems, some small theory about emptiness. And for me this was like, wow, when I was a kid, in the, the 20th century, and he wrote that 300 years ago, and had maybe the same feelings, and that was that impressed me so deeply that I considered that I should take care of the universe, <laughs> or that I should try to figure out why I was so afraid, and to find a way of maybe make the universe somehow more friendly to me, and. I really like what you, the questions that came up um, when you were watching this um, painting, because um, what you said that it is about something, it is something about hope, and also this, these little yellowish parts on the left side, for me they are really like an aura or like some uh, sun. Yeah, not, not, not rains, but some small dots of the sun. And um, also this black hole, which is on the right side, reminds me of, um, well, of course, planets and the universe and this, um, the emptiness. But also, um, if you are a painter in like 2010, you can't just paint without being connected to the whole history of painting. So Brian, I was wondering why there's this black, black uh, figure on the left, um, yeah, top left, which is an abstract form, and I really, really like this idea of this black cutout, which is uh, like maybe blue on it. Could you tell me about the form? I was looking at the other picture that like some artist or like people draw, and then. I was trying to add kind of like wings into like all stuff and then I just tried to... For me, the skull is very clear and very obvious and then there's this really funny black form. So it's a, a different layer and it's like a strange thing which is also there, like a small alien. Hmm. 